Now, several people, including Kentucky lawmaker Attica Scott of Louisville, were arrested near the church last night after police say the library nearby was damaged. They say somebody broke windows at the main library and then threw a lit flare inside trying to start a fire. Steve Jefferson was actually inside the church for several hours offering sanctuary to protesters from the curfew. And Steve, you spoke with church leaders about those arrests last night. What'd they tell you? Well, they told me that they had planned to open their church doors actually for the protesters, but they did not plan on such a large crowd. Let me uh, show you what's happening here right now. The police is here and they are actually preparing to um, to meet with the to meet with the protesters who are on the street and they're going actually to meet them uh, because they have been uh, basically turned around from their position. This is right near Jefferson Square where they just made another PA announcement for the uh, protesters to to uh, to leave downtown because downtown is closed. The church minister that I talked to actually opened the doors saying she wanted to give protesters a safe haven. And I talked to her earlier tonight and here's what she had to say. Protesters should be out. Voices should be heard right now and it gives people a safe place to be, to come to. So we just decided we're going to do this and be planful about it. So uh, you put the word out, the resources come, the people come. We set up a sign-up sheet for different shifts throughout the night that congregants and folks like that would come and, and, and serve. So what we're doing here at our church is, is just trying to embody being a part of this ongoing fight to make things different. And, and in order to make things different, People have to have a voice. Minister Kyle also shared with me that she wants people in the black community to actually have a voice and a say so concerning the Breonna Taylor case. Here downtown, again, police, they are confronting those protesters who have broken curfew. As you can see down the street here, that caravan of cars that was just here, they're now at the site where the protesters are. Again, right now, the only safe place for them is the church. Whether or not they make it back there, we have to wait and see. Back to you in the studio.